Hey guys, welcome back to the video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a buy system inside Unreal Engine. Here you can see I have a small buy menu and if I'll click on the buy button, some currency will be detected according to the cost of these items. Every item have different cost and your currency amount will be saved even after you'll reopen your game. You can download this project and all the graphic UIs from my Patreon. The link is in the description so go check it out and now let's see how to do it. So before you continue, I will recommend you to watch the previous part of this video where we set up the currency system of this project so you can understand this video properly. Link is in the description. So first let's go to the character blueprint. So if you watched the previous video, you might be familiar with these two custom events, add coins and subtract coins. And we are calling these custom events on action mapping means when we will press a key. Here you can see we are using E key for add coin action mapping. After that we are calling the add coin custom event. We are using Q key for subtract coin action mapping and then we are calling this subtract coin custom event to subtract the coins and then we are updating the coin tax value. You can see here is the text that shows us the amount of currency we have right now. So if I press the E key, currency increases, press Q to decrease it. And now we have to do the same thing with this UI. Don't worry, you can download this project and these graphic UI from my Patreon. The link is in the description. So here you can see we have this UI where we have multiple buy buttons for each item. And here's the currency amount that will be shown to the user while purchasing the item. And uh, this UI is different from this one. So this UI will be hidden when we'll show this and this will be hidden when we'll show this. Don't worry, this will make sense after a minute. So on the buy button, what we want to do? So first let's add a on click event on this buy shield button. Here you can see we have the on clicked event. So when we click the buy button, we actually want to call this subtract coin custom event that exists in our character blueprint. But here in this UI, in order to update the value of this text, we need to get the reference to our save game where our currency exists. And we also need to get the reference to our character blueprint in order to call this subtract coin custom event. So you can clearly see we need to take two references. But in order to make it memory efficient, let's move these custom events in coin save class where our currency exists. So we are moving these custom events in this coin save game class because our buy menu and our character blueprint have the common class that is itself coin save game class. So we do not need to take any extra reference in order to call these custom events. Okay, so here you can see I have successfully copied these custom events in our coin save game class. You can see them. So now we just need to call these custom events in our character blueprint. Here you can see we have these old adding and subtracting coin custom event. Let's delete them and we already have the reference of our save game. So let's grab it and search for these custom events. So I'm going to search for add coins and just connect it to the add coin action mapping and then connect the execution pin to the update coin text and have to do the same just call the subtract coin custom event connect the execution pins and enter the amount you want to add or subtract i'm going to type 200 because i want to add and subtract 200 value whenever i press any key so now let's compile and uh, now we do not need these functions as we have moved these custom event in our save game class so let's compile and test this so as you can see the subtracting and adding custom events are working so now we can proceed to our buy system so whenever we'll click this buy button we want to call the subtract coin custom event here is the subtract coin custom event which exists in our coin save class so we need to get the reference to that class first so let's call our event construct which will be fired whenever this widget will be displayed to the user so to get reference to the coin save game class first we have to check if the save game exists so search for does save game exist and here you need to enter the slot name so if you'll remember from the previous tutorial its slot name was coins so now let's have a branch to return either true or false and if save game exists we are going to load it so search for load game from slot so here you again need to enter the slot name that is coins and now we can cast to our coin save game there you go and here we are casting to this class so now we need to promote this to variable so that we can use it later on i'm going to name this save game reference so now our reference is stored in this variable 
so through this variable we can access all the custom events here you can see add coin subtract coin and all the currencies we have inside our save game class so now if after checking the save game exists and it returns false means it's saying save game doesn't exist then you need to create a new save game now from here you can select your save game class which is coin save game and here you can set this variable to store the reference of your save game so in both the cases you are storing the reference of your save game in this variable okay so now as i told you through this variable now you can access all the custom event let's search for subtract coin custom event there you go so we are calling this custom event in this class and we are going to connect it whenever we'll click on the buy shield button and here we can enter the amount we want to subtract from our currency i want to subtract a 500 amount that will be enough for buying a shield okay so after we purchase any item the currency value is subtracted so we need to set the updated value of the currency to the text so to do it uh, let's create a custom event i'm going to name this update coin text and from here uh, let's grab our save game reference and let's search for get coins and now let's grab the coin text through this we can search for set text node now this node will help us to change the value of the text so we can change the value of this text you can see over here so for that uh, let's connect the coin to the index parameter and this will change the float value to the text automatically okay uh, so now we need to call this custom event after subtracting the coins so let's search for update coin text there you go we are calling this custom event over here so now we are done for the buy shield button but now uh, here you can see the value of the text is zero by default but we need to change it to the current value of the currency when we'll show this widget to the user first time so for that on event construct we need to call the update coin text custom event and then we need to connect the execution pin to both the cases okay so let's compile and now we have rest of the buttons and we have to do the same process for all of these okay so now let's connect the update coin text event after every subtract coin custom event okay so after that you can keep the different cost for different items in your game so here for the you can see for the extra life when i press on the buy button you can cost maybe 200 and let's say for the spell you can keep 100 cost for buying the stone you can keep 300 for thunder you can keep 700 and finally for the wood you can keep maybe 600 so this is how we set up the different prices for different items in your game now we need to display this buy menu widget to the user whenever they will press the B key. So to do it, let's go to our character blueprint. Okay, so let's go to our uh, project settings first. And in the input, in the input section, you can add an action mapping. So let's add one. I'm going to name this buy menu. And from the keyboard, let's search for B. Here's the B key okay so now let's go to our character blueprint and from here we can call that action mapping so let's search for the buy menu action mapping so you can see here we are calling this action mapping in our character blueprint so when we will press the b key we want to create a widget so let's search for create widget and let's select our widget that is buy sell ui here it is and from the return value search for add to viewport okay so after that let's search for the get player controller and through the return value of it we can search for set input mode game and ui only so that we can also register the mouse clicks and keyboard input so uh, okay so after that from the same return value we can search for set show mouse cursor to show the mouse cursor to the user and let's check this okay after that grab the coin ui reference uh, from this reference I mean this widget uh, because we want to hide this widget and show this one that's why we need to hide this so let's search for set visibility node 
and after connecting the execution pin set the visibility node to be hidden okay so now uh, you can see here when we are pressing the b key we are creating the by menu but we need to use the flip flop function so let's add this and on the a input we want to create it and on the b input we want to remove it so let's search for the remove from parent after that connect it to the b input so what flip flop does is it first time goes to the a and creates the widget and second time it goes to the b and remove the widget so now what we need to do let's get a player controller and through this we can search for set input mode game only there you go connect the execution pin and now let's get the coin ui reference and we need to now make it visible so let's search for the set visibility node and after connecting the execution pin set it to be visible okay so after we remove this ui the changes we made in this ui will not be reflected in our coin ui because this text value is different from our coin ui so we need to update the coin ui text value so in our coin ui reference we have a custom event called update coin text just like when we made in by menu ui you can see this custom event has been defined in previous tutorial and here it needs the coin reference means save game reference so just connect the parameter okay so there is one more thing in this uh, we also need to hide the mouse cursor so from the get player controller we need to search for set show mouse cursor and uh, just connect the execution pin and keep it disabled okay so let's test this if this works first let's add some currency value uh, i think that's enough so now let's press b is the buy menu and if i click on the buy button you can see some currency is detected let's buy the spell and it takes the 100 currency so you can buy as much as items you want until you have enough currency in your game but here is a problem if you'll see the amount of currency you have currently and if i press the b key you can see the widget is gone but coin ui text value is not updated you can see in the buy menu the value is 200 but in the coin ui it's 2800 so why is this happening if you'll open your character blueprint you can see you are updating the coin text value still we are getting the problem i could be wrong but the reason i find behind this may be because we are loading the save game in another class so that might unload the save game class from our character blueprint so we need to load it again so i already have a load save game custom event that loads the save game so we are going to load our game and call this custom event before updating the coin text value so let's call this and connect the execution pins and i think now it should work let's compile and test this first let's add some currency and let's press the b key let's buy and you can see the value is 200 and you can see the value is updated in the coin ui also okay so you can download this project and all the graphic uis and icons from my patreon from the description of this video my discord server link is also in the description down below so do not forget to join my discord server and if this video helped you out make sure to like and subscribe to this youtube channel till then see you bye bye